three phrases that destroy a narcissist. There are certain phrases that will destroy the narcissist. They are very weak, fragile people. They cannot handle criticism. They cannot deal with the truth and reality of the situation. They are very insecure. They are very sensitive people. So if you say these words to a narcissist, it may cause a narcissistic injury, which will then be followed by narcissistic rage, where they will either deflect it onto you or give you the silent treatment. One, no. If you say no to the narcissist, it will most likely cause a narcissistic injury. It will destroy them. They cannot deal with rejection. They cannot deal with the dismissal of their proposal or request. If you say no to the narcissist, it will make them very angry. Because they're arrogant and entitled. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. So they believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They expect you to see it as a privilege to even be around them. So they believe that just by being around you, they have a right to something. They demand and expect so much from you to compensate for how they really feel about themselves. Inside they feel completely worthless and insignificant. And they need people or things to compensate for their true feelings about themselves. When they force you to do what they want, it releases dopamine in their brains. It makes them feel better for a moment. But it isn't real happiness. Real happiness comes from within. It is not dependent on what someone else does for you. Inside they are miserable. It's just that they project everything that they are onto other people. Which is why you never get to see the broken, depressed side of them that they really are. You never get to see that side of them because they project it onto you. But however they make you feel when you're around them, you could be sure that how they feel inside is 10 times worse. whatever when you say whatever to the narcissist it shows them that you're not bothered about something you're not really concerned about it the narcissist needs you to care they targeted you because you care because you try to fix things. You want to make things happen. You're about something. But they don't want to fix anything. They don't want anything to change. And while they want you to try to help them, they don't actually want your help. Which is why they're never actually going to let you fix or change anything. 
because they're actually quite comfortable with the situation. It allows them to bait you into another argument. It allows them to get supply. But when you just say whatever to the narcissist and you remain not worried or concerned and you're not showing any agitation or annoyance, it really gets to the narcissist because they need your reaction to feel like they exist. Without it, they feel irrelevant to you. They feel like they have no importance or relation to you, which then makes them feel completely worthless. I disagree. Most of the things a narcissist says are lies. They are pathological liars. What they say to you is intended to manipulate or deceive you. They will go out of their way to get you to believe something or see it a certain way. because it benefits them in some way. They have to feel like they're always right. It makes them feel like they're useful and important. But when you tell the narcissist that you disagree with them, it destroys them because they need you to validate their illusion Without your agreeance, they feel uncertain. Because everything they act like they know is only intended to deceive you. It is only intended to have influence and authority over you. That is the purpose of any action or conversation with a narcissist. It is not to connect with you or relate anything to you. So when you disagree with a narcissist, that illusion falls apart. They cannot put on a show without an audience. They cannot play their game without a willing participant. So they need you to give it your attention. They need you to give it your energy and power. And you can only do that by either agreeing with it or being offended by it. If you don't show any opinion and you don't support their particular opinion or idea or an opposing one, they don't get any supply because they're not getting a reaction out of you. If you look at these words and phrases, you will see that they disempower the narcissist. They make the narcissist feel less powerful and less confident. The reason why this is so effective is because the narcissist created a false self. They are dependent on external validation. They need you to prop up their false self with agreements, compliments and praise. If you don't do that, it will cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. They cannot validate their false self because it doesn't even exist. They are not the source of their own power. You are the source of their power. Which is why they are so heavily dependent on you. Instead of giving your power away to the narcissist. Use it to validate yourself. 
This is another way to destroy the narcissist. Any positive affirmation about yourself will destroy them. And this can actually help you to identify whether or not you are dealing with a narcissist. When you are around the narcissist, say to yourself, I am powerful, I am confident, I am capable. And watch how they react. Most often they will react with some invalidating comment because they don't want you to feel confident about yourself. They don't want you to feel empowered. They want you to think there's something wrong with you. Because again, that supply. It makes them feel like they're right. It makes them feel like there's nothing wrong with them. But for them to feel that way, they have to take your power away. Because they cannot empower themselves. Whenever you feel good about yourself, it will destroy the narcissist. They want you to hate yourself, just like they hate themselves. However a person feels about themselves, that's how they want you to feel about yourself. So if a narcissist cannot tolerate your positive affirmations, it should reveal to you where they are in their minds. It should reveal to you how they feel about themselves. To destroy a narcissist, all you have to do is take your power back. Use your power to empower yourself. Instead of giving it away to someone who doesn't even respect it. To someone who is only going to use it against you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachnetnarcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.